I told you I don't do drugs. Still a good idea to check your heart. Something else could have damaged it. You find it hard being all on your own? Having to do everything without... Drugs to ease my pain? That's not... A teenager on her own? I wouldn't trust me either. I meant it must be hard. Sorry. He didn't miss much. No spasms yet, nothing in the anterior or posterior cerebral arteries. How much longer? Just a few more minutes. Were your foster homes all around here, or did you have to change schools? Is chatting about lousy foster parents supposed to relax me? How'd you find out about your parents? Told you, state trooper. Look at that. Arteries are fine. You can stop. Not that. I forget, did he come to your house or call you down to the station? Came to my house. I cried into the guy's shirt for an hour. Wow. FMRIs tell us where the blood flow is. You were using your limbic region. It lights up when we use our imagination. It doesn't light up when we're telling the truth. Your parents aren't dead, are they? I got emancipated because my dad raped me. My mom pretended it didn't happen. What does your furniture look like? You said it was homemade. The old box is what? It was wood nailed together. It would have little dents or holes. I didn't see any in the bookshelves, but they were painted. The desk did. It looked like she had stapled stuff all over it. Holes means it was pressure treated. Sawing or burning it releases arsenic into the air and into her lungs. Tests didn't show. Because it found a cloak of invisibility hiding. Arsenic gets absorbed in the internal organs so it doesn't show up on the blood test. Test her hair. It was positive. Chelated out of her blood. Chelation's complete. You're arsenic free. So I can get out of here? In the morning. That's it? No advice? No, be careful out there, kiddo. You want my advice? Want is one thing. Expects another. I wish I could tell you what to do. But you're strong. You've made good choices. You'll be fine. Thanks. After the seizure, we ran a new MRI. This is Sophia's brain three days ago. This is her brain today. Put the arsenic back. You want to treat a patient nearly poisoned to death by giving her more poison? Just because we call something a poison doesn't mean it's bad for you. It was killing her. And since she's still dying, the arsenic obviously wasn't killing her. And since she's now getting worse, the arsenic was obviously fighting the killer. Acute promyelocytic leukemia is still treated with arsenic. APL explains the lesions and why they appeared after we took the arsenic out. So, put the arsenic back. We still have a problem. Arsenic slows leukemia, but it can't cure it. If she wants to see 17, she's going to need a bone marrow transplant. The best match would be a sibling or a parent. Biopsy a lesion, confirm that she's dying, and load her up with arsenic. Keep her alive so you can convince her that rapist marrow and rapist enabling marrow work just as well as the unleaded stuff. I just need a donor with the same blood type or something, right? Actually, bone marrow is a little more complex. The best donors are immediate family. But those donor banks have thousands of names. Your parents' similar DNA gives you a much better no. chance of. If I do this, I'll owe my life to them. It'd mean everything else that happened was somehow okay. They don't deserve that. They're not in my life. If that means I'm dead, then I'm dead. She's scared. Not scared enough. Tell her the thing about emotional reactions is they're definitionally irrational or stupid. Might want to phrase that in your own words. She wants to deny your parents the satisfaction of saving her life. That's your rational explanation of her emotional response. That was her explanation. That makes sense. How long did it take her to come up with that? 
It was her immediate reaction. That doesn't make sense. The fact that it makes sense doesn't make sense? Emotional is immediate. She went to rational first, means there was no emotional to process. You're saying she's lying about being raped? Wouldn't be her first. She lied about one trauma to cover a worse trauma. So, what's worse than rape? Hi, I'm Dr. House. What did you do? I don't... Something happened. It wasn't rape. Believe whatever you want. You're scared and stubborn, and you don't like people feeling sorry for you. Why not? I don't want pity. I just want to be normal. But you know you're not. You need people to see how independent you are, how well you're coping. So they won't see the lost, hurt little girl. Because that's not what you see. You see someone who did something terrible. Who deserves to suffer. Who doesn't deserve to live. What did you do? Eventually we'll find your parents. If only to deliver the body. And they won't care. You're an idiot. You'd rather die than face your parents because, what, you broke their Fabergé egg? I killed their son. I killed my brother. I was supposed to watch him. He was in the bath. I could hear him laughing. Every time they look at me, it's like I kill him again. If you don't take your parents' bone marrow, be killing their other child. If they don't hate you now, they will then. I don't care. Sure you do. You want someone to tell you that it was just an accident, but it's not that bad. It is that bad. And you know it. There's nothing you can do to change that. There is one thing you can do.